Hello, my name is Shadow Leon, welcome back to another episode of Red Coast Revenge in E4, and, well, in the previous episode we had uh, quite a bit of losses here in India, we lost like 30 or 60,000 men rather quickly. But we should be getting a little bit better situation now. We'll try to probably fight that army if we can. Gather up the troops there, and then attack them in one swoop. Because it's, uh, Delhi is the biggest problem right now for us. And we need to take care of that. Okay, we managed to seize down the province over here in Ottoman land. Ottomans, of course, are helping Hejaz, which we actually wanted to do that to bring in Ottomans. It did bring in Austrians, which we didn't actually appreciate all that much, but we'll beat them down one way or another. It does delay the war enough so that we can do the peace deals one by one. No, oh, we need to go around that. Never mind then. Now, let's get back to India. Troops are almost ready. We'll be getting the defensive bonus there. We've got pretty good leaders. Just waiting for this one to arrive here. Right, 105,000 men going in. They are sending out some of the troops away. Wait, how did... Oh, there we go. We got a little bit... Beaten up there. At the start. We're getting more reinforcements, though. But so are they. This is going to be a bloody fight. No questions about that. Tripoli has a revolt. Oh, bloody hell. Nothing we can do about that right now. I mean, technically we do have an army here, but... Also, we have an army here, actually. That could do something about it. Okay, we are getting more reinforcements in just a few days, I think. Can we hold that long? I don't think we can. Nope. That's a loss. Would have liked if you all retreated down here, but okay. So that's going to be a huge loss for us in that war. And how long until we get the course? That's going to be down in 71. Then there's some provinces that are going to take even longer, because I think they've been seized down, so that's delayed them. We haven't seized down this fort quite yet. Oh, Mogadishu is that. Oh, I see. I'm pretty sure that we can't really piece out anyone yet from either of the wars. I mean, Mogadishu technically, but on the other hand, they have stuff that I want. So, in practice, no. And do we... We are on our force limit right now, but I think it might be time to get a little bit more mercs. Right about here. As far south as possible, so that the enemy armies will not be able to stack wipe the smaller units as easily at, at least. So, yeah. No battles right now. Quite a few sieges. We're sieging down Austria and then Delhi is sieging down our holdings in India. Of course, though, we are also sieging down a little bit around here. Can we go around? We are, we can go around that. Let's go to. Madonna. Right, this you can probably go to Treviso now. Sending extra troops to Carrington. With the extra cannons, we should be able to seize it down rather quickly. Seize down Domain. Well, we didn't have a fort there. And that fort. Oh, God. They should be taking a favor to kick uh, attrition there. Well, technically, it's only 3%, but 3% from that for each mile is 3,000 men just from attrition. Which is a lot more, I presume, presumably a lot more than what they have monthly income. I mean, we have monthly income of 3,000. 
So I'm pretty sure that their income is probably about 2,000 at most. Maybe less. Because we should probably make sure that we increase our manpower in influx a little bit. Also, there might be some trade company buildings still that we could build, but I haven't been paying attention to those in a long while. Let's go and beat down that Austrian army there. To relieve some of the pressure here in Cambodia. And yeah, these forces, I'm going to pull back south. Intercontinental trade. I think Brazil can withstand a little bit of extra costs there. Austria occupied Flores. Oh, I forgot this area. Right, do I have... Pretty sure that I started building some of the ships here. Yeah, we do have some ships there. So how about we go there? You shall not pass. We've got another one here that we could send out over... Actually, where should we send it? Maybe there? They'll be kind of stuck in these islands there. Okay, we occupied Hama. Take out that one. Is Or rather, are the Ottomans ready to give up yet? No, not yet, but we could probably start figuring out what we'll be taking from them. Like, if we take this area, that would be 40%. That would be 64. I don't think taking more... Actually, we do want to take more from them. That one, that one. Okay, it's not quite that much. Maybe we take only those four and then the provinces over here. That might be alright. Not too expensive. So that would be 40%. Now they, of course, would not accept it quite yet, but that wouldn't be too bad. Then actually, let's have a look at the other peace deals. Um, was it Mogadishu? Yeah, Mogadishu. You own a province over there, so that's something that I want to take away from you. Then maybe a little bit around here. How much could I take? Ooh, that would be a little bit expensive. But if we take something like that, technically they would already accept that, but we cannot afford taking that. But that, with this and the Ottoman land, that would be together about 100%. Then we'd have to wait for those cores to be completed. Maybe if we don't take that. If we take only that, that would still be 40%. Oh, bollocks. Okay, so the coastline is very expensive there. This would be only 30%. That's more manageable. I think I'll take that. And the island, of course, over there from them. I'm not going to do that right now, of course, because we still have 100% overextension. We need to wait until pretty much one more year before we can actually afford doing that. Right, they might actually... No, we cannot actually set the edicts there, because it's not our own provinces. Now, they are technically fighting another war as well, so they might get distracted a little bit. Now, I'm going to take the prestige, actually. Right, so do we get... The reinforcement was good, I suppose. Could we get anything over here that would improve our situation? Not a lot, to be fair. <laughs> 17,000 ducats from contribution. That would be rather epic. Not gonna lie. What about here? Make a generous donation. Okay, we are over our force limit right now. I mean, we can afford paying the extra cost easily. That's actually a good point. We should probably make more mercenaries. 
Like, how about we get a mercenary company here? Sure, now they cost like crazy, but... Ooh, actually, that's a good point. There's the rebellion over there. Okay, Adana has been won. Let's go to Isel. Not sure if that's the way you pronounce that, but anyway. To the next four, over. See, I, no, I will not accept that peace deal. Okay, we won Sukatai. I won't be able to catch them there, but that is buying me a little bit of time at least. Lost the siege of Raspur. Right, and we got the mercenary company over there. The siege of Patak has been completed, so the Austrian fortification here has fallen. Time to go into Malacca, I think. Because this war, as soon as we've taken Siak, I don't think we'll be able to separate piece Delhi out, because Delhi is strong. We were a bit off, taken off guard there, I wasn't quite prepared for that many troops. Wait, who's Scandinavia fighting? Prussia. And then some Chinese. Alright then. Mogadishu? Nope. Come on, come on. Those first ones are going to be done in May next year. Or something like that. Now, did we de-siege anything here? We do have another army here. This is the mercenary. So how about we send you over there? We've got this army, which I'm going to send down here. With the mercenaries, they'll clear out the separatist group there. This one can probably head south over there to start sieging out some of the ports there. Just so that we can get the war score against Hejaz going as it should. Okay, let's go to Aleppo then. Conversion heretics on Minia. Oh, well, that's... Rather nice. So how's the situation here? Okay, th those navies are getting sunk, and I believe the Austrians are stuck here. They won't be able to bring in, in more troops, so they'll be just attritioning their men on that island. Which is very good for me, actually. Right, so how's the situation in Austria? They still have their armies down here, majority of them anyway. Uh, let's actually have a look. So in this war, which doesn't have uh, Delhi, they have about 350,000 men, which is less than I do, but I'm fighting two wars right now and I have troops all over the world. Then in this war, they have about 200,000. So I'm fighting about half a million men right now. Do we, have, we do have another army there. These troops could actually start heading this way, and we do have a group here. Oh, Rising Star. Hmm. I'll actually take that. Season 1 2 has been completed. I'll switch the Diplo reputation to the new trade efficiency guy. It's cheap. I don't get as many points, of course, but that's not really an issue at this point. Right, so Mantua has been seized down. We can start moving, actually. Let's go to Rome. And Ancona. And we'll seize down their holdings over there. Now, of course, Technic... Oh, I can't stop them going through that. Congo is donated to Austria. That's a bit unfortunate. Okay, culture conversion's done. Uh, we beat down the rebellion there. So we should go and... Well, actually the fort is going to take care of that. Send this army through there. Yeah, we'll come back. Oh, right, the navy got pushed out. Cambridge Symposium, National Tax Modifier, alright. We're on the seat of Isel. We are spreading out our army over here quite dangerously, so I'm 
I have a feeling that the Austrians might try to attack us soon. But yes, I'm actually going to send this to take care of the Mogadishu island there. Let's have a look. So Treviso, it's going to fall soon. On the siege of Carrington. Because he's down on Austria's capital. Actually, I wonder, could I... No, Austrians don't want to peace out. Yeah, I mean, they are the strongest nation probably in that other war. So getting them out of it is going to be a bit difficult. I wonder. Can we catch that army? No, not in entirety at least, but they will be sending the troops back. It's going to be jungle, it's going to be the river crossing, it's going to be ugly. And bloody. We have the numbers right now, although, oh, there we go, we broke their troops. They are stuck moving over here, so we'll be able to catch them, well, the smaller army there. If we catch their armies one by one, we'll be fine. Okay, there's a bit of a revolt over there, we'll be running straight to it. Now we do have the mercenaries down here, which we can send down south to help a little bit. Is there anything over here going? Ooh, where are they going? Macedonia, okay. Okay, so he's down Crane. Now, let's have a look at the India front. We have a big battle here. They are actually not bringing in troops. So we'll be able to probably stack one of this, actually. Oh yeah. Can we catch that army there? I think we can catch something. That's uh, 17, 21st. Okay, so the big army gets away. The one stack doesn't. Actually, no, we need to get rid of or deselect some of these. Especially the ones that are already in a bad shape. I'm going to leave it here. Actually, spread out them even a little bit. But they are now on the run for a little bit, and also they got a bit of a separate stack there. It's good to know that I'm not the only one I'm suffering from them. Now we've got 30,000 men here. Is there anything that we need to do over here? I mean, we could use a bit more troops in the north, but I don't want to abandon all of these holdings. For the time being, anyway. So we'll, we'll let that sit there. Get rid of that stack there of rebels. Oh right, Russia holds that. I have a got. But Armenia is essentially dead for the time being. Oh, we can see Ottoman troops. That's the first army that we've seen from them. I'm going to Karaman, so that's good. Some treasure fleet from Cascadia. Right, so we seized down that one. Is there anything? We can't actually get directly there, but oh, they managed to get enough troops there to actually continue sieging now. Seize down Gers. Which is their capital. Let's see, would Austria... No, they still don't want to peace out. Alright then. It's your loss. Okay, we're going to have to go around there, I think. Right, and presumably nothing has been caught yet. Giriga is going to be caught soon, next month. Running a bit low on manpower since we're trying to seize down so many areas. And we've been having a rather bloody fight, especially here in India. They got the stacks over there again. Rather spread out right now. I'm gonna let the reinforcing do its job for the time being. Rostock has a revolt, that's 
unfortunate. Okay, one province has been done that. Okay, see, um, hmm. How long till we get the next ones? It's gonna take a little while. October. Rome has been seized down. And it goes in Napoli. Or Naples. Aleppo has been seized down. Now let's see, what's there? Closest fort was over there, I see. Istria has been seized down. We'll let this army stay there for the time being. Can we get there and stop it? Possibly. Oh yeah, it stopped. Okay, they're going for the dry lands. Actually, what is their military? It's still 26, so they're way behind. Let them lock in. Is there... Actually, can we get another... We are way over our leader capacity. Do we have any generals in Spain? No. What about... No, we don't have any there either. I think most of our generals are actually taking part in fights right now. Let's catch them there. Siege of Treviso is finally over. Right. Time to take out Venice as well. Now how big of our... 50,000. How about we send these two stacks up north again? Take care of those rebellions. Though, um... Yeah, that's better. Oh, they're coming after me now. Alright then. Tactic innovation. Heavy should combat capability. Excellent. We called the enemy army there and we might actually win the, with this stack alone. So I'm not going to pay attention to that right now because we do need to pay attention to the in India front here. Now we got six armies there and one army here. So seven armies here in India. So that's 200,000 men. We got plenty of troops there. And what's the situation here? We should be getting there in time. Both had the centre of fall at the same time. And there's the reinforcements. Okay, you're gonna stay back. You're gonna DC or receive that. Oh, that's gonna be a stack wipe. Most likely. Ottomans would probably like a truce now. But let's have a look at the overextension. 88%. We're going to have to wait a little bit longer, like a few months, I think. And then we'll be able to, if we see uh, peace out Ottoman, so that the few provinces in Egypt can start actually coring, or continue coring. No, start coring. It, they didn't start before. Okay, we won that battle. We have an army over there, we have another army approaching from the south, so that's good. And that's going to give us the Seeking War score, which we do require, and is this fight should be a good... Yep, it's a stack wipe. Okay, Ottomans are basically beaten. The enemy armies are now, well, it's still over 300,000. So I'm assuming it's majority of that is Austria. But we don't see the armies right now. Oh, no, we do. We got 100,000 men there. Alright, let's send in some reinforcements here. Right, I wonder, so... Austria still doesn't want a truce. They are starting to gather up quite a bit of war exhaustion. The Mogadishu is certainly running out of the war, but I cannot give it to them quite yet. Soon, but not quite yet. Right, let's send the army over there again. And luckily our colonies are helping down there in the south. Oh, ho ho ho! And free team there, oh, that's actually quite nice. Time to go and help on the siege there. 
if we could destroy that army, I mean, they're going to fight over there. So that's distracting them quite nicely, and then we are catching that army. They will send in reinforcements here if they can. They think that they can. But they don't know that I have another army coming in. The river crossing penalty is on them, so... Oh, yeah, that's a stack web. But 2,000 men will kill 23. I'd say it's alright. But with that, we are unfortunately out of time for this episode. So if you enjoyed this, please like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Also, check out the links down below in the description. But other than that, thank you very much for watching, and until next time, bye bye.